Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? As you can see by the title, we are finally bringing back the Raiders 50-50 theme team. Uh, it's a very popular thing that you guys want to see. And it was very popping for me in Madden 20. Um, I had a Raiders theme team series. I know a lot of you guys on here are Raiders fans. Forgive me, I'm not wearing my Raiders jersey, but I'll have it for the next episode of Raiders theme team 50-50. In a second, I'll be showing you guys my team, and we're just going to get into a game. Uh, hopefully we do have a good game, but you know, I'm just gonna show you all the great players the Raiders have and Theme diamonds come out next week. This may affect the theme team a little bit But for the most part I'm best I'm, I'm banking on you know if anything uh, the Raiders 50 50 will get better uh, Rather than me switching up my theme team and then obviously the reason I'm switching it up so much is you know competitive advantages you want to have the fastest players out there Raiders 50 50 gives me that opportunity if you are a Raiders fan comment down below who you got this upcoming week and let's be realistic man the Steelers are a very good team just beat the Bills I got some good hopes we always beat the Steelers but let me know down below man I know a lot of y'all are Raiders fans so you know you guys are going to enjoy the series So, as of right now, man, uh, the legends were announced. Curtis Martin, Roy Williams, really no one on the Raiders going to be picked up from legends. But here we go with the Raiders 50-50. As you can see right here, we have it activated. And I'm going to be breaking down the stats, the players, all that good stuff. Um, and let's just start with the O-line. You know, 87 Incognito, he's all right. He's definitely a little uh, lower overall. Um, the guy that worries me the most is Rodney Hudson. You know, it's not a big deal, but you do have to sacrifice for that Raiders 50. Fortunately for us, he has 88 pass blocks. So, you know, Rodney Hudson's always been known as one of the better pass protectors in the league. Very disappointed we got rid of him. But, man, he does have a special place in my heart. Whether it be Madden or just in general, he is a great center. Hopefully, he gets an upgrade soon for the Cardinals. Um, this guy right here, this is one of the early pieces that's going to get upgraded. And, boom. You see it. 91 speed tight end. Um, the only other guy that could, you know, keep up with them at this point is Kyle Pitts, and I'm sure he will get an upgrade eventually, but the Falcons look kind of rough. You know, I'm not trying to diss them or whatever it may be, but, you know, we don't, unless there's, like, some type of promo, we don't know when that would be coming, but 91 speed Waller, he meets all the route running thresholds. He could air truck. I mean, he's six foot six. He is as good as Madden as he is in real life, and that's kind of rare. Oftentimes, you know, someone's way better in real life compared to Madden, or vice versa, they're really good in Madden. Like, like let's just bring up like Taylor Mays, a god in Madden. Just not really that guy in, in real life. Um, but Darren Waller has the same production in real life compared into Madden, and that's pretty rare, rare to see. Next guy we got is David Moore. Um, this was a last second pickup. It gave me an extra slot for the 50-50 so I could boost my secondary up. And he's solid, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I didn't know if this guy would be good or not, but it's Madden 22. Receivers really don't matter. Everything's open and he does have a little bit of swag on the field Which you will see 94 speed his decent route running thresholds. He's only six foot weighs 215 But you know he gets the job done. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna lie I actually do enjoy the way he played for me um, In my you know previous games that I was playing Next we have Hester. He's gonna hit that 94 speed um, All my receivers are 94 speed plus we definitely need a Hester upgrade. I don't know if we're gonna get one He's a route runner. Maybe even just 95 upgraded speed one point would be very nice and the next Jerry the Don Rice uh, 96 speed. I mean, that's really all you have to see. He's a route runner. It's Jerry Rice um, And he's 96 speed just some of the rarest things you'll ever see six foot two This is the, definitely the best receiver in the game. You could maybe say Calvin, but I mean Calvin Speed is just a little lackluster compared to Jerry's and Jerry is a route runner, man We we can't stress that enough. I'll show my abilities in a second Obviously rocking Zach Wilson at the helm. Let me show you the defense so on the defense. We got cam chancellor Trevin Morick uh, 93 speed for cam 94 for Morick. I'll show you guys real quick There's a lot of things I'll be showing on the defensive side of things Because um, they are fast six one. He has big hitter Morick is a dog I don't have the full cam yet, but you know he will come one day Next player is Reggie Nelson, and I've got mixed reviews by this guy. Some say he's good, some say he's not. 93 speed, and the only reason people don't like him is because his height. He's 5'11", you know, but that's the same as Ed Reed. Um, you know, the same speed as Ed Reed. This is practically Ed Reed. They both have insane zone, um, decent, you know, hip power. Reggie Nelson's a dog, but, you know, I do see uh, certain 
animations or uh, instances where he does get agged on but you know honestly him and ed reed you know pretty much the same player if you ask me ed reed probably is slightly better because he has better man next is this divine diablo uh, i want to say he's a fourth round pick this year if you follow the raiders you know 95 speed six foot three 75 strength i mean what this is an absolute glitch this is a golden ticket um obviously the speed and all that not uh, showing that but you know this is uh end game card already so early you know you could probably rock this card to the end of the year 95 speed a little lower for end game stats but you know sheesh for now 95 speed is insane like i said six foot three i believe he's a linebacker in real life he's number 49 can't wait to see him get some PT, some playing time on the field. 85 zones, very good as well. And somehow he has 79 man. Um, obviously, you're not going to really be manning this guy up. I personally use him and have him in the box. He's going to play the run super well, get big hit, fumbles, all that good stuff. And that's my, um, you know, linebacker one. Cam is linebacker two. So I have acros on those guys. Philip Buchanan, um, I'm not really a, the biggest fan of him, but he does get, you know, he holds on to the ball. He gets interceptions. He's 94 speed. He's a little shorter. Um, you know, sometimes I'll play him at slot in 146 or slot in 335Y, whatever it may be. Next, we have Ed Reed. Obviously, not a part of the Raiders theme team, but, you know, he still has a place on the squad. He's still a dog. 93 speed, 94 zone. There's something glitch about Ed Reed, man. The way he reacts to the football, kind of insane. And this card probably right here just ties it all up together, man. Why Raiders 50 50 is insane. Not Mike Kane, 6'2, 95 speed. Um, insane zone insane man insane press i have i'm not gonna lie like you know the defense is pretty hard but with my canes it does make it easier you know you could put him in zone and put him in a cloud he'll bait something in six foot two frame um you can man him up my canes is a dog and you know sometimes these guys that are super what like high overall high rated or you know newly new added cards to the game don't really perform well my canes i could really say is a dog i got trust him that's probably my favorite player on defense right now D-line, we play David Irving, 85 speed, Montez Sweat, 88 speed, and last but not least, we have DeMarcus Ware chilling over here um, with, I think, 87, 88 speed. Um, I can't wait for a new Mac. Once we get a new Mac, Raiders 50-50 will be even better and easier. We don't have SAP. I don't want to use a slow DT. Um, and, you know, in our secondary spots, we got Sean Taylor. You got to have Sean Taylor out there. He's six foot, um, two, six foot three, 94 speed, crazy zone. Uh, he finds this place um i play my outside corner for now he has mid zone on him and he makes some crazy plays and then you know we have jeremiah wosu um at sub linebacker if i ever do one-on-one -on -one, run three three five wide but for the most part my middle linebacker one is this guy right here raekwon mcmillan it's pretty hard to pronounce his name but see right there 91 speed six foot two raiders 50 50 is insanely glitched um i suggest you guys get it if you have the coinage and that's a big if because coins on this game are hard to come by let me show you the ap real quick and let's finally get in the game i know this is a longer intro but you know there's a reason for that the ap i got inside dead eye gunslinger 5 ap outside apprentice slot apprentice um outside apprentice is something i've been laughing with those uh big deep posts are insane in this game so you know that's why i have that devin hester route tech slot apprentice he still plays my slot um i like to audible the tight as you guys have seen in my gameplays he's really good short and elite on darren waller don't need any apprentice um if i do have an extra ap i probably slap on like a backfield master on reggie um, it just makes you know throwing to those running back outs and ends even easier and then on defense our abilities we're going to use cam chancellor at the linebacker spot with acro mid zone and acro on mike haynes mid zone is something i've been trying out mid zone acro on uh sean and the reason i do that is because he's a zone archetype super easy to come by i use mid zone up top and ed reed and lastly acrobat on divine diablo my abilities on defense compared to offense are a little you know uh, sus i gotta figure that out but you know we got plenty of time before the next tournament and yeah man let me show you the playbooks real quick once more we got colts power run bears three four bears is really good defense meta at this point we got four raider slots and then just in case you want to guys see like how to make a 50 50 i'll leave a link in the bio excuse me the description but, you know, if you want, you could just study this real quick. All these guys are pretty much just backups. They never really see the playing field. But, you know, this is Raiders 50 for a reason. Uh, Hunter Renfro, Alec Ingold are, you know, just filler spots. Josh Jacobs, theoretic. I can't wait for new Josh Jacobs. And then if you have Allworth or Youngblood, any of the team captains, you want to have times three on them. Also, to remember, put Hester 
with Raiders Cam and then Cam. Even if you don't have the full Cam, make sure he's in your lineup with Raiders Cam. Um, and that's pretty much it. These guys right here don't really see the playing field. Littleton, Tanner Muse, Perriman, KJ Wright, uh, Kwiatkowski. Sorry, I butchered that. They don't really see the playing field at all. And then pretty much same goes for all these goals. So, you know, you could do your research. And this corner right here is Trayvon Mullen, if you couldn't see with my face cam. Um, I do have a Raiders punter. And then you don't need to use a Raiders kicker if you copy my exact lineup. And, um, you know, you could do whatever you want with these kick return spots. We only have 55 spots available. I literally max them out to a T. So my two extra players that I have are a Wosu at this point and then Sean Taylor. And then um, Ed Reed, just I already have him in the lineup so he doesn't go as a sub. Here's the record real quick, guys. 215 and 27, 15 game win streak. All that being taken care of, let's finally get in the game with this Raiders 50-50. And hey, there's some new house rules. I maybe might take a look at them, but honestly, I heard the rewards, as you see right there. NAT, uh, 88 overall, ultimate kickoff hero. Not really worth it. And we are in our playoffs, guys. Um, if we get quit outs, we'll definitely run another game. It is weekend league right now, so a lot of goons, um, a lot of, you know, everyone is on weekend league at this point. So Friday afternoon, this is probably the prime of weekend league. People are getting off work, people getting off school, hopping on weekend league. So, you know, um, I would show you a weekend league gameplay, but we haven't even played one game yet. So I know I'm going to be not playing the, you know, best competition. This channel is about, you know, competitiveness, uh, great gameplays, great content, all that good stuff. And I know you guys would want to rather watch a head-to-head -head game than a weekend league game in the first early stages. Guys, we are in the Colts book. I said that a little bit earlier. Um, I really do enjoy this playbook. Panthers is not bad. It's pretty much the same playbook. Um, but I just like this speed dig play way too much. And I'll show you guys it in a second. Unfortunately, I already came out my play. Probably going to run verticals. It's right here. Verticals. He's using Amos. Um, we're going to have Darren Waller on that delay fade. And he's so fast, man. He is so fast. Ooh, JC Jackson stops us from, you know, probably a touchdown, man. I'm not going to lie. That might have been a touchdown. Uh, we had great momentum. We were running upfield. And Waller is super hard to tackle. One truck could have done it. Right here, man. Once more, we're going to get Waller in space. If he doesn't contain, we're going to roll out. And he doesn't contain. Um, yeah, man. That was a little risky of a read last year and years prior. That route keeps running upfield. But I guess this year it kind of stops. Nonetheless, I mean, we're good with it. If you end up getting the dot. But that could have been bad, man. That could have been bad. And you know what, man? We're going to go to Waller again. Because why not? Because I feel like he's going to be open. Because he is open. Can we outrun Sean Taylor? Definitely not. I thought that could have been Brian Dawkins or something. Sean Taylor is one guy, along with Cam Chancellor, along with Diablo, along with Mike Haynes. Just a guy you can't really mess with. You can't try to truck them. You can't try to outrun them. They will hawk you down. Right here, guys. We are going to run double post again. And this one might be a touchdown because it's Amos. But we still get dive tackled. Uh, one thing I really wanted to do right there was spin, but Waller cannot spin at all. Don't even try it, man. Right here, we're going to try to pop a read option and know he had defense for it. So we'll just take it up the gut with Bridge. Tie game. Try to get a stop right now. I definitely will get a stop. I already know I will. Um, but uh, I was definitely a little, you know, cringe at the way I played defense last drive. It was pretty bad. Guys, honestly, this Raiders team team is so fun to use. Like, can you imagine being a fan of the team you uh, love? And then, you know, their theme team is honestly this is the best theme team in the game debate anyone debate whoever you want debate me this is definitely the best theme team in the game um, i'm just super hyped right here we'll give this defense a shot again this guy really thinks he could tote like that man i don't know man i don't know how i feel about that he's right here he's gonna run stretch and better run d and you know why not make the subs for three three five wide he's gonna continue to run the ball so you know let's just not let him run the one thing I will say is our Rundy may be a little sus on this team as, you know, we don't have the goons like Warren Sapp and all those guys. We are using Montez Sweat at DT, which is sus, like I said, but, you know, it make up for it with Cam Chancellor and like um, Ed Reed, those type of guys, Diablo, who could hit. And this man right here, he really just doesn't care. He really doesn't care at all for anyone. He will tote on anyone. Uh, right here we are going to try to shed and scream but we just don't and when i mean scream i try to get a disengage and i just noticed why he's running so much and why he's having so much success he has five 
offensive line abilities, whether it be post up or whatever he loves. This dude is a demon, man. And he was dotting us at first. I wouldn't even say dotting us. I think he threw one pass. And then he's like, you know what? We got to run the ball. And look at all those five offensive line abilities, man. I'm kind of shook at this point. Um, finally, some good run D. We can call a timeout. I know it's Madden 22, but this guy's definitely playing like the last time I had a Raiders themed team, which was Madden 20. And if you remember those games, honestly, all those games were hell. Uh, all those games are definitely fun to play, but I would play so many toters, man. And this guy is another one. He actually hits us with a play action, and that's going to be a book because you don't have Gunslinger. You don't have set feet lead. You want to run the ball every play. That's what happens when you pass. Um, Jimmy Graham is a dog. He just hawks us down. I bet you hit Jimmy Graham's like 90 speed with that Packers chem he has. Honestly, guys, this game is probably GG'd. We're going to continue to run it up. We have hotter routes now, man. Infinite hot routes. Do whatever you want. Bullshit rock combos or whatever it may be. Boom. Darren Waller is going to score a touchdown for the boy. And look at that, man. 91 speed. Best tight end in the game. Top three in the league. And he's going to break a kick return, man. I was literally on my phone. You could show that. Um, you could see I wasn't talking, bro. I was. I, I thought we had him hawked down, man. Uh, I mean, I'm not tripping because we do get ball I have. This game, like I said, is pretty much over. But, man, oh, man, dude. This guy just broke a... He broke so many tackles. And like I was saying earlier, I was literally preaching this to y'all. Um, theme teams, you got to pooch kick. Uh, let me start pooch kicking. I got to make this a habit again. We used to do it in salary cap because no one brought a kicker to the party in salary cap. Now everyone has a kicker. Everyone wants to kick deep. Um, let's see if he pooch kicks it himself. And yeah, I don't know what it is. Everyone literally has it memorized to pooch kick. Um, it, just so, it just so happened to be that I don't. And we give up a touchdown because of that. But hey, it could always be worse. It could always be an MCS game. It could always be a tournament game. When we give that up, you live and you learn. I want to say this is man coverage, and it is. Um... I don't know, man. There's nothing really open. I may have had R1 wide open, but I really, what, what I wanted to do right there was see if my stop and go was going to get open. Probably going to try to make this last drive just so, you know, I could work on that in the future. But you know what? We'll try David Moore, give him a chance. Burning Casey Hayward, and that's David Moore, man. Uh, 94 speed. I'm not going to lie. Like, looking at his card art, looking at his, like, attributes, looking at all the other receivers in the game, I'm like, you know, is this the number one guy? I um, mean... You know, he's actually been playing pretty well for me, so I'm definitely happy with the production I've got out of him. Like I said, the other two options was like Calvin and Galloway. But, you know, by using David Moore, I have extra theme slots for Raiders 50. Like, you know, bringing in Ed Reed, putting him up, up top and stuff like that. So definitely happy with what the decision I made was. And, you know, they're probably, probably going to change next week. I'm sure there's going to be a new 95 speed, 96 speed route runner or something like that that... We got to use, and I just realized I did not pooch kick it again, squib kick it, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are down bad. You know, let's try to get a stop right here, man. He's going to continue to run, and that was going absolute nowhere. David Irving, he's like, he's pretty good in the run, but man, I got to see more out of him out the pass. Gun bunch quads, my man is a demon. We're going to send the heat right here, try to get lurky with it, see what he throws, and you can't even throw anything, my guy absolute cage right here just probably gonna run cover four zone drop defense put 15s on the field and put 10s on my hooks and just contain the pocket man we know if you want to use a mobile qb you want to escape and run around um but we're just going to contain that pocket try to make some user plays let our guys eat collapse that pocket man and look let's look at his o-line abilities um post up post up puller elite all day all day this guy does not care he needs all the time in the world boom great user play and he low-key had a bomb, but there goes Montez Sweat saying, no, sir. Man, even though this is a Raiders theme team, Montez Sweat is a dog. Right here, he's going to go for it, man. Um, this game is pretty much GG'd in the chat. Can we get some pressure? No, we can't. And there goes Can Chance. So slot in the ball down. Right here, going to try to break it out, and that's what we are able to do. I probably should have went down. Uh, waste some more clock, but it's all good. And guys, let me know some ideas of what you would like to see. Something I'd say, like, because a lot of my gameplays are obviously going to be just straight Raider 50-50s. One thing I could say, obviously, wearing the jersey would help. 
or maybe like play other people who have 50 50 themes or you know 25 like that are big diehard fans that's definitely something i could think about doing so comment some content creators i would love to play some madden um you know there are diehard teams of diehard fans of their teams that you know have their theme teams and you know i'll hit them up and we can run it one i already know would be like bg fam probably he's rocking a bears theme team i'd hit him up for a game and see if he wants to play um, but let me know more content creators down below that you'd like to see a collab with plus that you know would know would run it with their theme team that they love and you know that's just pretty dope because it's the nfl season man we could rock that out and i feel like this is a pretty good idea just came up with it on the fly and you know it wouldn't even be a competitive thing it'd just kind of be like integrating all the you know theme teams and all that stuff and see how it goes right here man is gonna throw another pick uh ed reed like i said man he's not a raider but you have to have him on the team mid zone just went crazy right there and we're gonna try to put it on because he's not gonna quit out one more touchdown and then we're gonna wrap up the gameplay because we do get ball at half and you don't need to see this but there goes ed reed with that mid zone like i said it looked pretty dope him jumping that route in all reality it's because he didn't have set feet lead slash gunslinger i really want to get jerry rice a touch man everyone on the team has gone the ball besides jerry and he wasn't ha let ha he wasn't having that at all he had like five zones back there i don't even know what i could run at this point i'm just gonna try to chuck up an ag to jerry rice and hope for the best um but i do see press coverage on the right could this be a dot to david moore <laughs> and it is david moore just sneaks his way to another touchdown um i believe he's on the panthers now i really didn't even know we had him on our team like at any point in time but you know there he is a new addition to the raiders 50 and that's it man i'm gonna wrap up this gameplay here because he's not gonna put out um you know like i said comment some content creators i would love to play and you know we'll make for a great video because you know like i said every game i play is already gonna be with the raiders 50 50 i don't know what else more could i i could do to make it interesting for you guys so help me out a little bit and yeah man he's right here he's gonna try to onside he doesn't get it but you know great timing he ends up quitting out um next time in the future i'll maybe drop another video alongside this uh but you know this is the first video we all gonna learn from it and welcome back to the raiders 50 50 hopefully i see some of you guys out there with the raiders 50 best theme team in the game Till next time guys i'll catch you in the next episode, whatever it may be, stay chill, stay easy, man. I'll catch you guys soon.